the modal vectors um, with respect to the mass and uh, stiffness matrices. Uh, different modal vectors, if you do these operations, then they should be zero, okay? And for the same modal vectors, if you uh, multiply with the n and t like this one, then you should get some constant. And we learned uh, to normalize the normal vectors, okay? So normalization is, uh, in a common exercise, is to scale the um, model vectors such that this number become to one, okay? And from exercise of the homework, if we normalize with respect to one, then this should be corresponding uh, natural frequencies, natural frequency squared. So that is summarized in this page. Okay, and basically this we call the normalized model vectors. Okay, and the two here I box the information. So basically here is this we are given any model vectors and with any scaling factors, okay, scaling factor here. And I use blue to uh, denote the corresponding normalized vectors, okay? So if this is normalized and in getting this number to one, then basically uh, this must be the uh, natural frequency square, okay, must be. Um, so this is the detailed kind of durations, and if you like, you can take a look at this one. So today we're going to base upon those informations uh, to uh, one more step and to solve the coupled equation of motion. And um, let me summarize here before we proceed. So if we arrange the model vectors, the model matrix, and in a way uh, we put in each um, model vectors, Okay, column, we put the each model vectors, normalized model vectors. Okay, each is a column. So we define the model matrix like this. Then uh, the two equations basically can be precisely uh, written like this. Simply transpose M equal to um, identity matrix. Okay, so with the two properties here, we can try to do uh, some example here. And let me bring up here. Okay, so we can, can continue. Let me uh, turn off this one and then to, to release the space from the one point. system 
and this one we've seen before, and the spring constant, this is 30, and the mass is 10, and this is 5, and the mass is 1. And we use this example and in the last um, lecture hours to demonstrate how to determine the natural frequencies and to demonstrate how to calculate the uh, model vectors and even using this one to exercise how to normalize the model vectors with respect to n. So here, let me rewrite here. So the equations of motion basically um, is um, 10, 0, 0, 1, x1, double dot, x2, double dot, plus 30, minus 5, minus 5, 5, x1, x2. And for this three vibrations, equal to 0, 0. OK. And this is uh, what we call the uh, M matrix. And this is, we said the K matrix, okay? And this is our X dot, and this is vectors in zero, okay? If we write into matrix form, it would be like this. Um, we have learned, and we can re uh, quickly repeat here, and from the beginning, we have to resolve the solve the eigenvalue problems for the natural frequencies first. So if you remember uh, the natural frequencies, we simply assume um, the harmonic solutions. Okay, that means uh, x, d, and equal to um, the capital X, c1, c2. omega t plus v. Okay, we assume this is the harmonic excitation. So plug into here, then basically uh, that becomes minus m omega square times x plus k x equal to zero. Okay, so basically here we can arrange the since and that is minus omega m plus k equal to zero. So here we, to calculate natural frequencies, we simply uh, determine, um, find the determinant of this matrix equal to zero. For this example, we can try is this, that determinant minus 10 omega squared plus 30 minus 5, minus 5, and then uh, omega squared plus 5 equal to 0. Okay. Something like that. Yes. Um, okay. And minus 5. Okay, from here we, we remember we solve for omega squared equal to 2.5 and 6. So basically, we have omega 1 equal to a square root of h of 6 and omega 2. OK. And then the corresponding, the model vectors, and here, not to repeat, basically that one is equal to uh, 1, 2. The corresponding <coughs> model vectors for this one equal to 1 minus 5. Okay, so that is what we have done before. And um, last time we exercised how to normalize this. So, for example, to normalize model vectors, so um, vectors. So here, for example, for um, the first model vectors, okay, so here we, with these numbers, and let me use any coefficients, alpha, okay. So alpha is a scaling factor, and we're going to normalize per the requirement is such that the normalized vectors um, 
transpose the m and normalize vectors equal to one. Okay, so we use this information. So alpha and transpose equal to one two and multiply with n ten zero zero one and multiply with alpha and one two. Okay, so this one must be equal to one. So here uh, we have alpha and so that is becomes alpha squared. And then this implement this one quickly, that one can do. That means 14 alpha squared equal to 1. So therefore, alpha bar equal to 114. Okay. And again, for so therefore, the normalized uh, model vector one and equal to fourteen and one two, and that one is equal to point. Q six seven three point five three four five. Okay. And then for the second model vectors and we use uh, different scaling factors and one minus five. Okay, the same thing. Beta times transpose of the first model vectors multiply with Mass matrix and then times beta one minus five. Okay. So this one becomes uh, must be equal to one. So that's a requirement here. So from here we obtain um, thirty five beta squared. <coughs> Equal to one, so therefore beta equal to this one. So therefore, the normalized second uh, model vectors equal to this. Calculations because I have already have some information here, so I like to keep with my uh, keep keep the, the noting with my uh, the writing with my notes here. So here I want to make a, a little bit uh, um, the options. Okay, so we you see from here uh, we solve for beta, and actually we have two options: either positive or minus. Either way will be good, right? Okay, and then usually we uh, take for granted is we like to take positive. But again, here to fit with my note, because there's a lot of the uh, calculation follower, I don't want to mess up with the things. So here, let me take the beta equal to minus two. But here I can tell you, either take positive or minus, and that should be good, as long as keep everything persistent, uh, consistent with the remaining. Okay, so here, again, I take this one. So if you, if I would take that one, then basically the normalized vectors will be, for example, here that is minus point one nine one six nine zero and point a four five two. Okay, so that is my option. So in this way, I will stick with the everything with this one. So therefore, from here, then we can see the model matrix and uh, what becomes an arrangement of the. Um, the two calculated normalized vectors. So that one will be counts point two six seven three five three four five minus point zero and point eight four five two. 
Okay, so that is the information we're going to use. So let me um, mark these equations here. Okay. So with everything in mind, then I'm going to introduce uh, we call the model analysis. So, Doug, we can have a new section. Okay.